Alright, so what is going on fam? It's your boy Rojo and I and today I got another video for you guys. I know what you guys are saying. Holy shit, ain't this the the, the same thing you were wearing a couple videos ago? Yup, you wanna know why? Cause that's the same fucking day. Today I got a comment about a month ago on one of my old ass videos, like old I still I was still using my Nikon old ass videos about a shoe that I still haven't worn and it's been two years or like over two years. It's been over two years and I still haven't worn this shoe. That's because I fucked up on the size as you guys can see green puma box and it's a pair of puma suede now the reason i fucked up on this is because my fault obviously but puma has their their uk sizing first then their uh european sizing second or is it european yeah european sizing second and then they have their u.s sizing third so when i bought these it was at marshall's got them for a steal i think it was like 30 bucks i saw the 10 and a half and i never saw the 11 and a half in the u.s so i thought the uk size was the u.s size so i thought i was getting a 10 and a half ended up getting an 11 and a half and they fit a bit big and i haven't worn them they look pretty fucking big on my feet too let me show you guys it's this pair 10 on 10 Puma suede, the gold accents, thumbnail real quick. Like that. I'm pretty sure the, the person that commented wanted me to lace them up how I laced them in the video, which was my classic Vans knot, one hole down as well. But since they were big on me, I ended up tightening them up a bit and lacing them up with the bow up top. But just for the purpose of this video, I am gonna do it the way it was in that video. Cause I'm pretty sure that's how that's what the person wanted. So I said, why not? So I'm about to throw these on, switch the camera angle down to my feet and give you guys a tutorial on how I lace these joints up. Stay tuned and keep watching. Two hours later. So as you guys can see, these joints look huge as fuck on feet, but that is because they are big. Like my toes right here and I got all this extra space right here, which I'm probably gonna throw like an insole or something in and I should be fine. But for the time being, I'm gonna just do a lacing tutorial on these joints. I'm gonna unlace the right shoe as always and get you guys back when the shoe is unlaced. All right, so I got the shoe unlaced, as always, out and in on the first hole. And I don't know why, dude, I fucking love these shoes. Like, like the colorway is so clean. It's just I can't wear them because they're too big. But yeah, you're going to want to make sure your laces are even. I'm going to do the knot one first, the one with my Vans knot, just to like get that one out the way. As always, you're going to start with the right side with the outside of the shoe first, out and in, and you're going to want to leave some slack. You're going to want to leave a little bit more slack than usual because the laces are kind of long. So yeah, leave some slack. Out and in. Leave some slack. That's gonna be my, I've said it in my last lacing tutorial. It's gonna be my uh, my slogan. Out and in, leave some slack. So yeah, got these joints looking fresh. Three, at the third hole down, you're gonna wanna pass it through the lace loop, through the tongue loop, I mean. other side pass it through the tongue loop like so and then you're gonna want to stop one hole down so right here this hole you're gonna leave it free so the only thing you're gonna want to do is the same the same knot I've done every other video pretty much on every single one of my lacing tutorials I've done this knot and you're gonna want to just do it like that so that's pretty much the way I laced them in that video now, if, if anything, you could just go up and fix the laces so they look like even. That's the way I laced it up in my video. Nothing too special, as you guys can see. They look decent. But the way I lace them right now is like this. Just in case if I ever were to wear them, they look like, you know, more like they're actually my size. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So all you're gonna wanna do is from lace the shoe up the exact same way, but just tighten up the laces and make a regular bow. Like I said before, if these would have been my actual size, I probably would have laced them up differently. You're gonna wanna tighten these joints up. Also not choking you, but to the point where they actually like, you know, you get a decent amount of lace up top. Fix the tongue and then just make a bow. And there you have it. That's how I lace my Puma suede. Nothing too special, nothing out of the norm. Something really simple, really self-explanatory. Yeah, that's pretty much how I lace my Puma suede. Bring this camera back up and give you sign you guys off. So I know this video wasn't as long as my Jordan 1 or any of my other videos. That is because I really don't have much ways of lacing these Puma suede for the fact that 
I really don't wear them. I really never wore them actually, if you wanna be, if, we, if we're out here being honest, cause they're too big, but I still have them just cause they were a present that I chose and I fucked up. But honestly, like the colorway is super clean and I actually like love the colorway, but it's just too big to wear. Puma suede's got them laced up, ready to go, just in case if I ever wore to like, ever were to decide to wear them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. To the person that commented this, I hope you see this. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back and make the video. Here it is. It's nothing too special, man. Got it out for you. Not sure when this is gonna go out. I'm rambling on too much. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which out of the two was your favorite. And also give me suggestions on how you lace your Puma suede, just because I really don't have many ideas for this, this particular pair. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe down below, join the family. And I haven't done my shameless plug all video. So if you want to, follow me on Instagram, at rojo 99 It's the same exact thing as my YouTube channel. I will have it down in this corner, as well as my photography page, which is Rodman Visuals, Rodman period visuals. I will have it as well in this corner down here with the little Instagram logo, and as well as a link in the description down below. So you guys could just click that, sign in if you have to, and follow me, making it easy for you guys. Instagram is really the best way to either get a hold of me, see like my most recent pickups or my recent outfits, as well as uh, just see what I post on a day to day basis. New fits are being posted every other day on Instagram. Peep that, I'm really proud of my feed. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a blessed day, keep enjoying life. Roger 9 signing out, peace.